Well, uh, we'll continue here with the story because Heyman, Paul Heyman's drafted to Raw, which means, hey, he's got to work for Bischoff. Well, he quits. And the plan is to make him the lead manager of the Heels to help build John Cena. Talk to us about Paul, though. Did he ever um, discuss the general manager role with you? Did he have any advice for you? What did that look like? You know what? No, no. Uh, surprisingly, no, because Paul is a guy that would definitely give advice to you. But I, I didn't ask him for it. But what he did is he led by example. You know, watching him be a GM and the way he does it and, and how much knowledge he has for wrestling, uh, he, he's so smooth and he's so articulate. Um, you, you see him and you want to be just like him as a GM of, of Raw or SmackDown. So Paul Heyman led by example. Man, he, he does. He commands the crowd uh, anytime he's got a mic in his hand and uh, captures the attention. And he's done it before, and he's still doing it to this day. Uh, we'll have fun, I'm sure, talking about him on our bonus show. But uh, it's also reported here, Kurt, that you meet with two doctors in March, and they say you don't need surgery, okay, but that you'll be able to return, get this, in a few weeks. Did you think at this point, man, that's way too soon after what I've been through? You know what? All they wanted to heal was the broken vertebrae. There were three broken vertebrae in my neck at that particular time. Uh, the other times before I had four broken vertebrae, Okay, but um, there weren't any disc problems. So the discs didn't move. They weren't blocking any nerves running down my arm. So uh, they just wanted the, the, the structure, my, my bones and my neck to heal. And that would take a few weeks as long as I didn't be active. I had to stay non-active and let it rest and heal. Now, what did it look like for you on the road, though, right? So you're doing the whole GM gig. You're still traveling. Did they have people working with you in terms of rehab? Were you doing any kind of physical therapy? You know what? This is ironic. Back then, they didn't have rehab for necks. They didn't even know there was rehab for necks. Doctors didn't even have rehab for necks. You had your neck surgery, you just let it rest and heal. Now there's rehab for necks. I mean, uh, you know, they, I, the doctors, I guess, got better educated and realized you can rehab necks. So they weren't doing it back then. So all I did is neck, let my neck rest and heal, which means when I came back wrestling, my neck was weaker. Than was go, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I think doing the rehab would have been a, a big bonus. Yeah. Thing. Strengthening that, 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 and those neck muscles. Me, but unfortunately they didn't have rehab for necks back then. At least that's what my doctors told me. Oh, man, uh, that's unfortunate.